One of the questions I get asked a lot when I'm doing a buyer consultation for someone who wants to purchase a property up here on the mountain is, what are lake rights for Private Lake Arrowhead and how do I get them? Okay, so here's the real raw information. To use Lake Arrowhead, the body of water itself, in any way, fish in it, swim in it, put a boat on it, walk the shoreline, anything whatsoever, you have to be an owner in Arrowhead Woods. Now, the good news is that Arrowhead Woods is actually a quite broad area. So, for example, Arrowhead Woods, it consists of, I believe, 4,886 acres of land surrounding the actual body of water, and there's roughly 10,000 parcels. So, obviously, to have lake rights for Lake Arrowhead, you don't have to um, have a lakefront property. You could be further out away from the lake and still have lake rights for Lake Arrowhead. So what exactly are lake rights and how do you get them? Every property in Arrowhead Woods has lake rights for private lake Arrowhead. Those rights run with the land, meaning that they are part of your grant deed. If you do not own property within Arrowhead Woods, there is no way for you to have lake rights for private lake Arrowhead at all. It's not like a, a club that you can join. Okay, we're not joining a club, we're not paying dues to be able to use Lake Arrowhead separately. Think of it this way. There are communities um, off the mountain that have as part of their amenities, maybe they've got tennis courts or maybe a golf course or maybe swimming pools or walking trails or something like that, that is only usable by the people who own property within that community. Same thing with the body of water known as Lake Arrowhead. If you want to use it, you need to be an owner in Arrowhead Woods. You need to be an owner in that community. That pretty much sums up lake rights. So if using the lake is actually important to you, if you want to fish in it, swim in it, walk the shoreline, put a boat on it, anything like that, then really you need to concentrate your search for property located in Arrowhead Woods. And that's pretty much all you need to know about Arrowhead Woods and lake rights, except for one additional thing. There is a governing body that takes care of the actual body of water. It's called the Arrowhead Lake Association, and their website can be found at ala-ca.org. What the Arrowhead Lake Association does is it preserves and protects the body of water and also enforces the rules for how we use Lake Arrowhead. Now, Again, this is a good news, bad news type of situation because you might be thinking, okay, rules, what are the rules? Very easy. First of all, go to that website. It's going to have all the updated information that you'll need about what it is um, to use the lake. What are the boating rules? What are the requirements? How big a boat can you put on Lake Arrowhead? Are jet skis allowed or not? Spoiler alert no jet skis on Lake Arrowhead, but we do water ski. And actually there's also an air chair that we see sometimes out on the water as well. It'll also give you the information about the different tiers of uh, fees for what you do on the body of water of Lake Arrowhead. For example, you don't pay for anything that you're not going to use. If you want to use the beach clubs, there's going to be a separate fee for that. If you want to have your boat registered to Lake Arrowhead, there's a separate fee for that. So basically, you're not going to use, you're not going to pay for things that you're not going to use. I love that a la carte system. General membership, as of right now, for a year in Arrowhead Lake Association, is only $105 a year for your household. So that's pretty good. And then as you start thinking, do I want to put my boat on the lake? Do I want to own a dock? Do I want to rent a dock? Do I want to belong to Burton Mill Beach Club? Do I want to belong to Tavern Bay Beach Club? Do I want to belong to both beach clubs? What do I want to do? You can actually go to their website and you can figure out exactly what those associated costs would be. Another question that I get asked is, okay, so how much is all of this going to cost me? And again, I'm going to say it depends on how much you want to use the lake. I know people who only pay the general membership fee every year of $105. I know people who have 
you know, they own their own dock. They put a power boat on the water. They own a couple kayaks. They belong to both beach clubs and they're getting out of that with less than $2,000 a year. So it, again, it depends on how you want to use the lake for recreation purposes. Um, but basically speaking, that's what you need to know about lake rights for private Lake Arrowhead. So I hope that this little bit of information was helpful to you. If it was, please be sure to give a like on the video. And as always, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. And if you know anybody who also needs this information, go ahead and share the video out to them. That's it and bye for now.